2015 has absolutely flown by and what a year it's been for music. This has probably got to be the most difficult top 5 albums that I've ever done. But without further ado, here are my top 5 albums of 2015. 2015 has been an absolutely incredible year for music. There's been so many album releases from the likes of Madonna, Demi Lovato, Jess Glynn, and to be honest, this year's list was so difficult to do. I was that tempted to make it a top 10 albums of 2015, but I thought, what's the fun in that? Let's narrow it down to top 5 with a few honourable mentions. At number 5, we have Demi Lovato's album, Confident. Now, I wasn't going to put this on there because a lot of people were hating on this album and saying it was a disappointment, but to me, I really enjoyed it. I thought this list was my personal top five, not the world's top five, and I personally really enjoyed Confident. From the moment Call for the Summer came out as a single, I was obsessed with that song. I, I will say that I did want this album to be a little bit more edgy and a little, more, little bit more upbeat like Call for the Summer was, but what I got on this album was good. She used her vocals perfectly. It showed a very edgy side to her. Not as edgy as I wanted it to be, but I really did enjoy Confident, especially Call for the Summer, so that's why it has earned position number five. I had no plans whatsoever putting this on my list. When I first heard it, I didn't really like it, but what a grower it was. I went from liking one or two tracks to practically the whole album, and that is none other than Justin Bieber's new album, Purpose. This album has shown a totally new side to Justin Bieber. He's no longer that annoying little heartthrob teen star that everyone hated. He's gone to becoming one of the most liked pop stars in the world. His tracks are absolutely slaying the charts, his album is doing so well, and it really has shown such a mature side to him. I feel like he's developing his like more smooth R&B film, becoming that new Justin Timberlake figure. Here's where the list got a little bit interesting, only because positions two and three were so difficult to choose between. But I finally did it, and position three went to Ellie Goulding's new album, Delirium, and what an incredible album this is. Ellie was one of those artists that I followed on MySpace even before she even dropped her first album. And I adore Ellie. I was a little bit disappointed that she sold out, but she came back strong with Delirium, bringing back that old school Ellie sound and the new school Ellie sound. And I was obsessed with this album, I still am obsessed with this album, and I can't wait to see the tour in March. Position 2 went to one of my favourite artists, Marina and the Diamonds, with her third studio album, Fruit. Marina is one of my favourite artists of all time, she's so underrated, she deserves a lot more recognition than she gets because she does a lot of unique things that not many people do. And Fruit was no different, this was an incredible album, I felt like it brought elements from the Family Jewels and Electra Heart into one coherent album, it just really solidified her image for me. The tracks are amazing, the first single Fruit I was absolutely obsessed with, and the whole album, I, honestly this, she's got some amazing tracks on here like Forget, Savages, just the whole sound on this album is perfect. Before I reveal the number one spot, which you probably all guessed what it is because I'm that predictable, I'm going to run through a few honourable mentions really quickly. First one being a more recent album, which is Fleur East's debut album, Love, Stats and Flashbacks. I didn't really like it at first, but I'm obsessed with it now. It's got such a good soul feel to it and such a good pop element to it as well. It's amazing. I for sure thought this one was going to make the list, but it didn't. But this one is Selena Gomez Revival. This is another amazing album for Selena. It's so different for her. It's showing how well she's doing as an artist. This one definitely deserved an honorable mention. This is Madonna's Rebel Heart. I saw the Rebel Heart tour. I'm absolutely obsessed with this album. It's so good. Definitely one of the best albums of 2015 in my opinion. Another album that I first heard where I thought was Surefire gonna make the list but didn't in the end was Years and Years Communion. I love this album. There are a few tracks on here that let it down but the tracks on there that are good are amazing. Drum roll please, number one. And the top album for me of 2015 is Jess Glynn, I Cry When I Laugh. When Jess Glynn first hit the in music industry, I was obsessed. Her voice is so raw, so soulful, so unique. The singles that came off it were incredible. The whole album is amazing. There is not one filler track <coughs> except Sadness Vanilla. But the album as a whole is absolutely incredible. It shows exactly how talented Jess Glynn is as a songwriter and a vocalist. The production on the album is amazing, the sounds are amazing, and the single Hold My Hand has honestly become one of my top songs of all time. I can't get over that song and how amazing it is. But it was a no-brainer for me. Jess Glynn, I Cry When I Laugh, top album of 2015. 
So that's my top five albums of 2015. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you let me know down there in the comments what your top five albums were because I love reading those comments. And yeah, um, have an amazing new year. Go out, have fun tonight. Don't do anything too crazy. Be responsible. And I will see you guys in 2016. Bye.